Hey guys, Brian Cade here with Cade Fit, the fitness and self-development center where we help people get more out of their bodies and more out of their lives. Um, I know that when you get started trying to lose weight, it's daunting and it's scary and it's also intimidating. It's When you get started, you're facing, you have all this different knowledge, different areas, and you got one expert telling you to do one thing and another expert telling you to do something different. And it's very easy to get lost in all of it. So. I have started out, I started trying to lose weight when I was a young kid um, because I was being teased for being overweight and I tried just about everything. I tried running regularly, doing just cardio, uh, I tried doing certain diets, I tried, I remember one summer I was doing cross country lifting weights and I was doing like uh, spinach, almonds and ta uh, tangerines and I would do that for breakfast and lunch. I dropped like 30 pounds that summer, at the end of it I ended up um, skinny. Um, I was skinnier, but I didn't look better because I lost a lot of muscle as well. And so I didn't know what I know now, but I spent a lot of time doing just fasting. I tried dieting. I tried eating a lot, ton of protein. And I, yeah, tried it all. I tried losing weight healthy, wrong way. Tried it high carb, low carb. And I've learned a lot in the process, a lot of it by trial and error. And what the reason we do this is because I don't want anyone to have to be limited in what they're trying to do. I want people to be able to go through it, start out, learn what they need to, and be able to do this long term. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you, um, we did a mastery session on simple weight loss. And there's eight components of it. In another video, I'll probably go in deeper on each piece. But today's video, I'm going to teach you the eight pieces and a little bit on each one. So let's go through them. All right, so how should you go through this? I designed these in the biggest components first. So when you do this, look at the first several and start with each one. It's going to be like an eight, per, uh, eight point checklist. And you don't have to do all of them at first. Start with the first one and then go down. They're going to be in order of importance. And sometimes just doing one will get you results. If it is, go for it and just dial that in. Um, and if you're not, do one and two. And then do one, two, three. And as you go, keep doing all of them. And the last four, um, most of them are for people with special conditions or different hormone imbalances. So those, for a lot of people, won't even need to be addressed, but um, I put them in there as well because I've seen it affect people's weight loss. So step number one is going to be tracking. I like this for several reasons. One is that when people track, they become very aware of their food. So habits that they didn't realize they were doing, now becomes in the forefront of their body. So they can start seeing what their habits are. You can change it then. But until you start writing it down and tracking what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, the second thing is if you use an app like MyFitnessPal, which is I highly recommend using, you get all the data on what you're doing. So you can see how many calories you're doing. And you get to see how much protein you're doing, how much fiber, and all those different pieces. And it's a huge learning process because people do it and they're like, holy crap, I didn't realize that that burger was 1,000 calories, or wow, that, just that meal was 1,500, and that's over half of what I'm eating for the day or more. And so it's a huge learning ability. And so if you're doing this, if you bite it, you write it. You eat something, you put it in your MyFitnessPal, even if it's only a bite. And you're going to learn so much in the process. It's the number one step, and the people who do that the fastest get the best results. I still, if I'm trying to lose weight, I dial it in so I know what I'm eating and I stay on track. Number two is protein. You want 0.65 to 0.85 grams per pound of body weight. So um, for a lot of men, it's going to be 120 to 150. If you are over 200 pounds, you don't need to do that much protein. Um, so I usually tell men around 120 to 150 for protein. You can go a little higher on that. And women, I like to have them get around 100. It does several things. Protein is going to, one, fill you up more. Two, it's going to prevent muscle loss. I wasn't doing much protein when I lost the 30 pounds. That's why it affected me as much as it did. Um, it's also going to have to, if you keep your protein relatively high, it keeps your carbs and other things lower. Um, and you, like I said, you're going to be fuller longer. Another thing is that out of all the nutrients, like carbs and fats, your body digests most, 25% uh, I believe, of the calories just to digest the protein. The other ones are much less. So just to eat protein and process it, your body's burning more. Uh, number three is going to be fiber. Um, the average American is eating uh, 10 to 15, or like 10 to 15 grams of fiber. This is great. One, most fiber foods are going to be healthy. 
Um, so I recommend doing it with real food and not doing it in a protein bar or, or in a fiber bar or a supplement. Because, like I said, fiber is going to be healthy foods. They're going to be very nutrient dense, low in calories, and they're going to fill you up. Another benefit is it also helps you digest carbs. Um, it slows down the digestion and it regulates your body's response to insulin better. If your insulin is too high and your body doesn't process it right, um, where people are insulin resistant, you're not going to be able to burn fat even if the calories are on the right point. Uh, one quick last thing on tracking is that you want to track and you want to hit the calorie range that um, is going to work for your body weight. So one quick way that I've found for people to hit their target is take your body weight and multiply it by 11 and multiply it by 12. And you can aim for that calorie range and you should be able to start losing about a pound a week or a little bit more at, in that range. So quick way to do, so tracking and hitting the right calorie range. All right, step four is going to be weight training. I highly recommend doing it. Um, when I tried losing weight just with cardio, uh, I didn't look as good, I didn't have as much muscle tone. Just by lifting weights, you can have more tone. Um, burn, using weights, um, as you get stronger, you're gonna burn calories up to 72 hours later. So you won't burn as much as cardio in the workout. But as you get stronger, you burn more in the workout as well because you're moving a lot of weight, burns a lot of calories. And it's gonna burn for several days while you recover. So you might burn up to 100 calories a day for the next two to three days after. Uh, weight training is also going to build muscle, also going to help you keep your metabolism higher, and it's going to prevent your body from giving up the muscle as you lose weight. So the weight you do lose is going to be more fat than um, a diet, that, or typically just dieting or uh, cardio alone. Uh, number five is going to be half your body weight in ounces of water. So 200 pound person, you're getting 100 ounces a day. Someone who's 100 pounds, you're getting 50 ounces. Aim for that every day. It's going to fill you up. Your body is also mostly water. We all know it's good for us. Make it water. Um, I still count coffees, teas, and protein shakes and stuff in that too. They are fluid. They don't absorb as much. So if you're using a lot of those, um, I don't recommend a ton of coffee. But if you are, add some extra water in it as well or don't count all the ounces. All right, we're going to dive into the last three now. So the sixth one is going to be um, stress management. I've had so many people that are high stress. Um, if you're very high stress, struggle sleeping at night, waking up in the middle of the night, you're probably having cortisol levels that are off. So you want to manage your stress. You want to be getting seven and a half hours of sleep um, or more. You want to be doing uh, meditation or breathing practices. You want to also view your life differently and take out things that are causing you stress and restructure your life. I've had so many people cut out things, work out less, eat more, sleep more, study less, and their scores, their grades went up their body started losing weight, they felt better, were healthier, it all changed and they did less and they got better results. So manage your stress. Um, number seven is going to be a ketogenic diet. So if you've tried everything else and it's not working, go to a carb count that is under 100 grams. It's going to be very, uh, it's going to be challenging. So you're doing a lot of vegetables, more fat and protein. Um, when, if you haven't been working out regularly and you are overweight, um, 50 pounds or more, you're probably going to be insulin resistant. And when your body doesn't process insulin well, um, it's going to be in your bloodstream. And it's not going to be able to, um, when it stays in your bloodstream, you can't burn fat. Like I said before, if it's, even if your calories are in the right range. And so dial that in, cut your carbs. It'll help your body reset, and you'll be able to start losing weight. We've had several people with a lot of success in that. And the final strategy is going to be lost it for a second, but it's going to be cardio. I put this last because it's just a way to burn extra calories. Um, I recommend moving cardio in general, walking. I go for walks all the time. It's my, one of my favorite ways to socialize and connect with people. And just get your body moving. It doesn't have to be fast. It doesn't have to be running. Um, just move more often. And I put it last because if you get your calories in the right range, you're going to lose weight. For most people, if you just get your calories right, you're going to lose weight. Then if you get your protein and, every, and your weight training, you're burning calories, you're working out regularly. If you get all those pieces, the first two or three, most people, if they do the first three, they're going to be on track and get great results. So yeah, I put cardio last, not as important. It is important for health benefits, but you're also getting it from tra training. But yeah, it's up to you. So the, like I said, use this as a checklist. First three, most people get great results. And if that's not working, make sure all four. And then you're like, okay, these are good. What else is missing? Okay, am I really stressed? Yes, add that in. 
Um, am I getting water? Okay, now I'm not drinking much water. Keep looking at all eight and go as a checklist down the line. Um, first ones listed are more important. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, those are the quick, fast, uh, eight simple steps. If you follow those, use it as a checklist, you're going to get great results. Um, if you enjoyed the video, know somebody that could benefit from this, please reach out, leave a comment, uh, share it with them. I'm Brian Cade with CadeFit. Once you get stronger, life gets easier. <laughs>